Hello, in this video, we are getting into Google with images. Pictures and images are great for teachers and learners. For example, you could use a picture dictionary to show in the classroom, or cartoons are always great to bring a little bit of humor to your classroom, or you could take a picture of a textbook and redo an exercise you have already done for revision. Animated GIFs can, can also be an asset in the classroom to demonstrate processes like in this case, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Or they can simply bring pictures to life. So I'm going to start off with my Google Drive. Google Drive does OCR, image recognition. That means all your images are searchable by text, which is great for things like picture dictionary. Just need to type in one word, peel, and I filter my files by image. And I've got, I get all the pictures that contain the word peel. I could create a picture dictionary out of these images. For example, cooking related. Peel. I also can do OCR with the pictures. This is a piece of homework. A student of mine had it in. And if I want to get the OCR text, all I need to do is open it with Google Docs and I get this file here, including the text that has been OCR. It's not perfect, of course. The better the picture quality, the better the OCR. I can easily find interesting pictures on Google Image Search. For example, if I'm looking for an infographic about Facebook, I can image search. Google Image Search is fairly easy to use. What a lot of people don't know is that you can refine your search. You can choose the size, which is important if you want to print out a picture. If you want to print out a picture, it should be at least 2 megapixels or larger. I can search by color. I would like to have orange roses instead of pink ones, or yellow ones, or even blue ones. The type is very important. For example, if you're looking for clip art or line drawing or animated pictures. So if I'm looking for a clip art of a teacher, go to clip art. And I get lots of clip arts of teachers. If you intend to publish a file on the web, it's important that you choose pictures with a Creative Commons license, labeled for reuse, for example. Of course, the search is less useful, but at least you can use the picture without worrying about copyright violation. If I find a picture I like, I simply save it to, to my drive with the Save to Google Drive extension. And I can rename the file if I want to. I can easily search pictures with picture search. If I right click on a picture, and search Google for this image, or I can drag and drop a picture from the web to the image, image search, and here it is. Best guess for this image. I can even cut out clips from the web using the snag head extension. The pictures are saved to my drive, and again, I can go back, search for images, stars. And here we go. I keep my photos usually in Google Plus. Albums. You can easily upload albums just by dragging photos from your computer. You can easily share your photos. Or publish them to the web. You can also publish a photo album, the slideshow. Not only to Google Sites, but also to any website you want to. Using Google Image Search, I can also find out where on the web a photo of mine has been published. So this photo has been published on my school's website. Finally, Google Plus makes it also easy to search my photos. 
If I would like to find pictures of vineyards I've taken, just type in vineyards and I get all the pictures of vineyards I've taken before. I can also choose all the auto awesome photos and I can search for my photospheres. If I want to find pictures of Dublin, I get all the photos I've taken of Dublin. I might not remember this gentleman here. Go to Google search. It's the statue of James Jones. I might not remember this church anymore. It's Christ Church Cathedral in Dublin. And finally, if I get emails and photos, I can save them to my drive, all, all of them at once, or publish them on Google Plus as a photo album. That's it for this time. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go to my blog or YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on how to learn and teach with free Google tools.